Hey YouTube, what's up? I want to talk to you today about souvenirs. They're super fun to buy when you're on a trip, and they're fun to show off when you get home, but what are some of the strangest things that you've ever bought while traveling? Today I want to talk to you about the top 10 weirdest things that I've ever bought while traveling. All right, coming in at number 10, for some reason, is my collection of masks. I don't know why, but I enjoy buying various types of masks when I go traveling. This one is from Mexico. This one is from Costa Rica. And weirdest of all is this one from New Orleans. I don't even like looking at it. It kind of freaks me out a little bit. I'm ready for Mardi Gras. We have these masks displayed all throughout the house. I actually have two more, but these are in our bookshelf. This one's hanging in our room for some reason. This guy stares at you from across the room. Coming in at number nine is my sheepskin rug from Iceland. It's this thing. Before we went to Iceland, I was Googling pictures of Iceland and I saw an image of a living room with a beautiful Christmas tree and underneath the Christmas tree was a sheepskin rug and I thought, that's what I'm gonna do. And I bought this. My cats immediately started using it as a scratching post. It's been folded up inside of a box, but I still love it and I'm still waiting for the day when I can use it under my Christmas tree or flung across a chair or as like a house coat, something. I need to use it for something. Coming in at number eight, I like to call the category things you blow that don't work. For example, I bought this Jaguar whistle, which you're supposed to be able to blow and it makes it sound like a Jaguar. <laughs> That's not what a Jaguar sounds like. <laughs> I've never been able to get this thing to work. I also bought this conch shell in Mexico. You're supposed to be able to blow into it like a horn. And the man on the beach who sold this to me demonstrated, and he was able to do it, and I've never been able to do it. I'm sure it works, because I saw him do it, but it doesn't work for me. Coming in at number seven is my collection of Italian pottery. Now the souvenir itself, I really enjoy, I think they're gorgeous. But the story behind it explains why these are kind of the weirdest things to buy when you go to Italy. We went to the Deruta Pottery Factory in Umbria and I bought it, like a pitcher, oil and vinegar server with a little dish, a serving platter. Then I was too scared to check this stuff in my luggage. So I had to pack it into my carry-on all bubble wrapped. Then I had to run it through multiple airports and take care of like multiple pieces of breakable Italian pottery. I should just wear this for the rest of the video. Well, if you know me, you know that my biggest passion is writing my travel blog. And if you read it, you'll also know that I'm a little bit on the creepy, morbid, weird side. I picked up some weird voodoo stuff in New Orleans. I have a chicken foot. I have a voodoo doll. I have little Grigri bags for luck and prosperity. And from Seattle, I picked up a shrunken head. Number five, my weird collection of alligator stuff. I bought an alligator head. This is from a young juvenile alligator. It's real and the teeth are very sharp. I also picked up a couple tins of canned alligator meat, spicy Cajun style. I ate alligator meat and it was really good, but somehow I cannot bring myself to eat canned alligator meat. Coming in at number four for my weirdest souvenirs that I've ever bought are strange musical instruments that I'll never play. A pan flute, but I don't know how to use it and I've never played it. I've maxed out my skills there. We bought the xylophone in Costa Rica. The strings don't hang on it properly so you can't play it. When you hit the little notes it just clunks onto the wood. We also bought a bongo drum because why not? Coming in at number three for the strangest things I've ever bought as a souvenir is this totally random monkey purse. It's made out of a coconut. You can unzip it. We actually bought one of these for the little boy who was house sitting our house when we went to Costa Rica. And then for some reason we got jealous and we decided we needed to have one, so we bought a second one. I guess now that we have kids, they'll be able to use this. Coming in at number two for the strangest things that I've ever brought home as a souvenir would be smoking implements in a household where nobody smokes. In St. Louis, I bought a corn cob pipe for my husband, who does not smoke, 
and it's actually made out of corn. And then in Costa Rica, I bought an ashtray. I actually, to be honest, I didn't know it was an ashtray, I just thought it was a cool statue. And finally, at my number one spot, I have a thing for buying knives when I'm away on holiday. I bought this one in Scotland. It's a little lady dagger. I bought this bigger one in England, in case I ever need to go into a duel with a mini sword. And I bought this pretty one in Costa Rica, in La Fortuna, near the Arno volcano. This is all like clay, femo kind of stuff. And he created these little frogs with these little glass eyes. And I got to watch him make this. So those are my top 10 strangest souvenirs that I've ever brought home from my travels. What are yours? Please do share in the comments below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like this channel and you're finding entertainment value in these travel videos, please remember to click subscribe. Okay, my health insurance guy, there's like nothing in here, okay? Don't ding me.